change it a little bit different. We're moving on. We're moving on quite quickly, actually, but we're going into uh, where we're checking out weaknesses of the stance, weaknesses of the guard. This time, what I want you to do is put a little, the guards up in front this time, and just cover. So I don't want the person who's going back, the defender, to play the blocking game where he's block, 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 block. All I want him to do is to spoil this fellow's techniques. And spoil his techniques by the odd knee block, putting the guards in, covering and spoiling the techniques. Moving forward, moving back. So he's a moving target. He's got to keep hitting. This time, Pete's going to spoil all the techniques and cover. Because he's going to be mauling all over him with these techniques. Not standing back six foot away, hitting him with long range things. Yeah, well, the slightest flinch will make him miss. It's in close and personal. So just to cover and spoil as you go. No counters at this level. Right? There you go. Cat the technique where you can. So the person who's been attacked now has got to adopt a better posture, a more protective posture. techniques. Yeah, man. Right? Good. So straight away, by being attacked in this posture, like a Santian type stance, cat stance, Santian, tight stance is protecting the groin and the lower body, and these elbows, almost like Santian kata, slightly adapted, is moving in and spoiling and protecting. By the very aspect of that, we're now becoming from being very wooden and very technique after technique after technique into very rolling round, almost a bit like Western boxing, getting the shoulders to move and the guards to come up, protecting the ribs, protecting everything else, protecting the body, the groin, arteries, etc. Okay, once more, so just spoil, don't block, just spoil. And try and hit the target you want to, the neck, the stern, everything that you're going for, try and go for him and just spoil him. In you go. Nice and relaxed, keep flowing. Angled, turning techniques. is when it gets to a dead end or a wall, there's no way to run, there's no way to move. And it, instead of just stopping and thinking which technique to do next, it will just keep flowing. Circles keep flowing all the time so that you've got one thing hitting after another. When you're not kicking, you're using an arm technique. So it's continually flowing in an attack, helping to brainwash you into, into fighting and thinking what, uh, not thinking what to do, but to doing it. So you're more, more conscious of just flowing. Okay, stop running. Right, this time, the attacker is going to be coming in with his techniques. Everything from basic shots to advanced techniques, trying to incorporate uh, movements from the Gojiru Kata system. Those, uh, if you can't spot them, we'll, we'll point them out to you at a later stage of this film. This time, as this fellow's moving back and spoiling and covering, this time I want you to throw the odd counter, as and when necessary. And it's not a counter to score a point. It's, it's when his arms up in the air and you see the ribs that you could break them, in you go. When his, his guards are down, bang. If his legs are open, you finish him. So you spot the weakness. It's timing, fighting techniques, speed and distance. Right, in you go. Try and remember the bunkai from the cutter or the application from the cutter.
it's, it's encouraging what we normally refer to as uh, sparring in karate being more sports orientated and getting longer distance. This time we're coming down into close quarter combat. So it's encouraging you to use those movements from kata. When you see people deflecting in this way, coming in, uh, encouraging all distances, long range, medium range, short range, and having an answer for that distance, something to be there hitting the target all the time. Uh, without stopping to think, shall I do this or that block, or just happening naturally. So this is what we're trying to, trying to, to link in, the kata movements. Now this time, when you go backwards and forwards this time, I want you to use as many kata movements as you can. I want you to cover and protect. I want you to use as many angles as you can. If you see an arm there, grab it, turn it, lock it, break it, etc. So use what's natural. Right, in you go. Techniques flowing, the combinations flowing, you've got low kicks. You don't see many high kicks, you can put them in if they want. But when the groin's a legitimate target in street self defense, you've got to keep protecting. So you'll notice this time that people are moving more into protecting with the knees, blocking with the knees. Whereas if you're blocking with your hands, a heavy kick comes in, it can damage your arm. Not for a deflection, but for a block, it can. And the other thing is when the, when the, the guards are down, you're open all the time. So it's really learning to fight. Not with two arms, not with two legs, not with two knees, not with two elbows, but with four limbs. And treat those limbs in, as, as just, that's what you've got, four limbs. So something's there all the time to work on what you, whatever you've got to do. Okay, we'll stop over again. So Patrick and Pete, yeah? Patrick and Gap, sorry. Okay, moving on in the stages now, we're going through these things quite quickly. There's not a, uh, no need to spend a lot of time on the basic, because the basic is very wooden, very predictable. This is now becoming very unpredictable. And it's unpredictable because he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing, because he doesn't know the distance, he doesn't know the timing. He doesn't know what target's available. So the mentality goes back now to the tracking exercise backwards and forwards. So that's all I want you to do. Hands behind the back, back to track, and you're using elbows, knees, fists, punches. In you go, and then stop at the bottom. Spoil the techniques just to spoil, but you're doing everything that goes, you're spoiling. Right? In you go. Good. Change the position. So we've gone back to the basic, we've come straight back this way with the spoiling techniques. This time, what we're going to do is hopefully said hopefully, do the same technique. You're going to spoil this time and protect, and you're going to counter as and when. When you get to the end, you're going to come back yourself. You're going to start spoiling, blocking, deflecting, and countering. So hopefully by then, it will be totally um, freestyle, totally back to being, um, yeah, totally back to being flowing motions, so that there's no predictability in it at all. Okay, right, in you go. So just spoil on the way back. No counters. Guards. Protect the groin. Protect the abdomen. Protect the head. As soon as you're 
really have come back and you're both doing attacks and counters. Now this leads to Kumite and counter technique. Disrupting the center line, attacking long range, medium range, short range. basics now just to reiterate what we've done is we're going to go there with the tracking with Pete with his hands behind his back Patrick doing all the techniques here you go using the angles, using the guards moving in and chasing the technique when you can use a long range one coming back in close range knees, elbows so keeping the, the system as versatile as possible yeah, mate. Okay, this time when we go back, I want Patrick just to spoil the techniques, to block, cover, and spoil the techniques. Roll the hips, roll the shoulders, keep the guards up. Don't look down and keep attacking angles, straight arm, etc. Right?